Hey Joe here and welcome to the third session of series 2 in the 5 minute guides to Archie and Archimate modelling. This session covers an example of an application layer model. The application layer is a middle layer between the business and technology layers. The business service functional event is enabled by an application to support end users. The application will have a specific function to support the business event and hold or master specific data relevant to its function. The application is most likely to interface and exchange data with other applications and will typically be designed for access from a particular device such as a desktop, mobile, scanner, etc. The application will often need to connect to servers represented here as a node such as an application or database server. And the application will have security constraints across multiple layers of the business, application and technology, such as users, data, interfaces or controlled server access. And of course, all of the component parts are interconnected. Using our supply chain high level process example, we can link key systems to the business events to illustrate the touch points where an application may enable the business process. I find this a useful and easy way to initiate a high level application model with a business context. Intuitively then, we could guess the high level information flow between systems and use a flow relationship and RK naming the relationships to illustrate the information flow between the systems. The functional objects are nested in the application component object using the realizes relationship. The data objects are nested in the application component object using the access relationship. And as we have already marked the flow relationships in RK between the application components, RK will automatically pick these up as we add the other applications to our view. We can then add the application interface objects to represent the interaction between the applications. The ERP has been designed as a desktop application using the associated relationship. And we can use RK serves relationship to link the system to the business actors of finance and stock control business units. The application and database servers are composite nested relationship nodes of the ERP server and they serve the ERP system. For the purpose of our example, we can use a constraint object to outline the high level security rules that may need to be applied. But as ever, there is nothing stopping us from using another object, such as technology or application function, that could represent these at each of the relevant layers. And finally, we could bring in the business event relationships that we started the exercise with to provide deeper context to the application's impact. One of the great advantages of modelling with the Archie tool is the ability to incrementally build out a model and reuse relationships already defined. Let's have a look at Archie itself and see how it has built up these relationships. Selecting the business service supply chain management, we can use a visualizer to see all of the objects elements that are linked to this business service. Selecting manufacturing, we can see it is linked to the ERP system. Double click will enable a drill down to that elements relationships. Let's quickly rearrange the layout. The relationships displayed are crowded. To filter, we can right click to select the application interface to filter the results. Well that concludes our session of the application layer. We've learned we can use Archimate notation to build out an application architecture model relating to a business context and connecting to a technology layer. By using a model tool such as Archi, we can build on previously defined relationships to incrementally build out our models. I hope you got value out of this and it's helped you fast track your understanding of Archi and the Archimate framework. In the next session, we'll cover the technology layer.